Hey, how you guys doing? Um, for this video, um, we're going to take a look at a viewer question, and uh, which is kind of surprising because I, I looked into this myself, and this comes from, hopefully I say this right, uh, jo Johan or Johan H. I'm sorry if I messed up your name. And he basically had a question on making an updated video. Now, this is originally... I got uh, into doing this is when I tried to update compressor to the, uh, recently to a new the newest version. That's one of the bugs that I think I have for my system. It doesn't always allow me to update the newest video. It just fails. So what I have to do is delete it entirely. Then it allows me to download and update the, to the newest version, which I did. Unfortunately, it erased all my custom presets. So I had to go in there and... Uh, make a new one, which I noticed a lot has changed since then. So that had to, uh, so I had to actually kind of relearn the newest, uh, the differences, and then make the new MP4 custom preset uh, within Compressor. So um, we're going to take a look at that now in the Mac Mac desktop. So uh, stand by for that right now. Hey guys, how you doing? And uh, before we get to um, making mp4 videos uh this is on final cut pro and compressor first i want to show how i determine the correct format for the particular mp4 video now this is on um youtube's website um this is recommended upload encoding settings like if you're uploading youtube now you don't necessarily have to do this to upload it to youtube i only use this as a guide mostly for setting the correct bit rate for um, the resolution video I am uh, rendering out um, from compressor. Uh, for instance, um, we're going to go to bitrate. And this t tells you all the recommended minimum um, bit rates for the different resolutions. For uh, And the reason for this is if you don't have your um, bit rate set to, uh, fast enough, for your particular resolution. For instance, I'm, let's say I'm going to do a 4K render out for my video. And if I don't have the data rate fast enough, um, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to get a very glitchy video. I'm going to get uh, a lot of artifacts, uh, blockiness, and it's going to be a very bad uh, looking video and people won't have fun watching it. Um, so for instance, if you're going to be up uh, rendering out in 4K, it recommends um, a minimum of 35 uh, megabits per second. That's if you're going to, to um, 24p, 25, uh, excuse me, if you're going to 24 frames per second, 25 and 30 frames per second, that's the minimum. Now, if you're going to go uh, higher frame rates, anywhere from 48 to 60 for things like sports or something like that, it recommends a minimum of 53. Uh, megabits per second and uh, also if you're going to do HDR you're going to have to go a higher um, bit rate as well uh, and for 4k minimum of 44 and if you're doing uh, up to 60 it's going to be 66 uh, megabits per second and so this is only a guide uh, for, for me for setting this at the correct um, bit rate and uh, for instance uh, this is how I normally do it when I'm rendering, rendering out to compressor. Um, this is my video file project in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to go into File and Send to Compressor, New Batch. And uh, let's go ahead and close um, Final Cut Pro here. We don't need it anymore. Once we get here, now this is the newest version as of today, uh, today at least. Uh, compressor version 4.5.2 and um, this actually this newer version actually uh, saves you from doing a few extra steps as well which is nice so once you have compressor open in fact we got uh, duplicate files here we're going to uh, take one out is oh great now we got this going okay hang on let's see yep it's, uh, now it's loading the picture in there Unfortunately, oh, there we go. It opened it up. It's kind of laggy now. Once you get here, 
you're going to click on the upper left hand side for setting your different um, codexes and so forth. And uh, now you can choose one of these upper ones right here. Um, and often you can't change them. Um, the only way you can change them is um, setting as a duplicate and then we'll put it down here as a custom. But normally I do it entirely custom. And uh, I've got one here I've already done already, but I'm going to show you how to do it manually. So you're going to go to the lower left hand side and select new setting. And from here you're going to select uh, from the drop down menu um, MPEG-4. Now you can use some of these other settings if you're going to make another custom um, codec. But like I said, I love using MP4 because it's the most universal. It works with m the most operating system and devices. For instance, um, I've rendered out a QuickTime file, which automatically makes an MOV in on a Mac computer. And I gave it to somebody in Windows and they couldn't view it. So that's one of the problems of doing it in MOV. So that's why I like MP4. It works on a Windows computer usually, fine, uh, Mac and even Linux, and even some smaller uh, tablets and phones as well. So you're going to select MPEG-4. We're going to click OK. And then on the right hand side, we're going to change some of the settings. Now these are my settings and not necessarily yours, so you have to go in there and change them to, uh, according to your workflow. And if you look down here to extension, it does show as it MP4, so you know it's correct. Uh, if you use QuickTime, it's MOV, which we don't really want. Okay, once uh, you ensure you got the right extension, uh, we're going to go into the video settings. Well, you can really uh, have all this in automatic. I like to set it manually, uh, just to be sure. Um, normally, it'll take the automatic, uh, depending, let's say you give it a 1080p file, it'll automatically use all the settings, frame rates, and everything. I like to set it manually to make make sure um, that it's correct. So uh, while I could put uh, 1080p, it says up to, and I'm afraid to use that because it may actually knock it down in resolution. So I like to use the manual resolution, uh, 1920 by 1080p, just like so. And then I also less like to select the frame rate uh, manually as well instead of using automatic. And I normally do it in 24 um, p or 24 frames a second. Now, on some systems, it actually shows 23.976. You uh, you could get away with using 24. I usually like to use the original, which is 23.976 right here for the um, frame rate. Another thing I set automatically as well is you notice the data rate. Um, and normally it defaults to web publishing. Here it shows 15 kilo, uh, 15,000 kilobits per second, which is actually about 15 megabits per second, which is too high, and it'll actually make like a gigabytes um, file size, which is way too much in my opinion for me. I'm not saying it's uh, perfectly fine for yourself. So I'm going to do a custom data rate from uh, the setting I got from the U2 recommended, which was 8,000 megabits per second. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and put here. Just like so. And then just to show you, hopefully it saved it uh, correctly. And there you go. Now, um, you may have to set that for your resolution and data rate and everything else. But this is how I do it for my workflow. And it works for me. Of course, you can change some of that and go from there. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later.